guys today I'm doing a look for you that was voted by you guys it's one of my favorite things to do I put it up on my snapchat if you guys aren't following me on snap and Instagram you can follow me right here so I put up a bunch of different pictures on my snapchat and asked you guys which one you wanted me to recreate and hands down this one of Rosie Huntington was the winner so this thing about this look that I really loved was that she had this like gorgeous really extended eye just on the outer corners and that's what gives that super sexy eye that she has and then like this gorgeous pouty lip that is what we're going for this entire look is all drugstore so i made this super easy for you guys all right let's get into this look you guys have been asking for an all drugstore makeup, so here it is. I'm starting off with the NYX eyeshadow base. This has definitely become one of my favorite eye primers. I love that it's a nude tone, so as you can see, I'm putting it on. It completely blends in with my skin tone. So it's totally one of my favorite primers right now. And of course, I'm applying on the top lid and the bottom lid. And for the eyeshadows today, I'm using the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1, and I'm starting with this kind of creamy nude color all over with a nice big brush. Okay, this palette I've used so many times. I actually bought a second one, and this is now my traveling palette. I love this palette. This is the perfect palette for beginners. And for non-beginners. <laughs> okay, I'm taking this kind of mid-tone color for the crease and I always love to use a mid-tone in the crease because that's kind of our transition color. So you can apply colors around it and it'll make the look look so much more professional. Then I'm going for this kind of shimmery, silvery, gray color on the lid. And you want to use more of a flat brush because you want to really pat this color on. So kind of push the color onto your lid, pack it on, make sure that it shows up really well, and then apply it just high enough so it blends in with that crease color. Then I'm taking this beautiful dark chocolate brown. This is my one of my favorite brown shades because it's matte and it's really warm and I'm applying it just in the outer corner. So the trick for this look is we're going to really emphasize the outer corner of our eye. We're going to apply all of the dark shadows just in the outer corner to create that shape that Rosie has. So I just took a blending brush and I just softly blended out that brown shadow but just making sure to keep it in the outer corner and then I'm taking the darkest color in the palette which is this kind of um, it's a dark brown but it's like has a little bit of a shimmer to it it's more of a gray brown and again just packing that on in the outer corner you could see I'm kind of using a flat brush for this as well so I'm putting a little bit in my crease so I like to use a flat brush first and then go in with a blending brush and really gently, <laughs> this is the key when you're doing these type of looks, really gently blend out. And that's how you're gonna get that beautiful, soft, diffused look. And then I went back with the new shadow again and used that as my cleanup color, as my highlight color on my brows and just to clean up everywhere. I'm taking that kind of shimmery, silvery color one more time and sweeping that all along my lower lash line. So my guide really for this is I like to make it as thick as the brush. So you, I'm using a pencil brush here and I like to make this a little bit thicker just so it gives definition to the eye. So make it as thick as the brush. That's a kind of a good way to measure it. And then taking the lightest color in the palette that is the shimmery one and using that as my highlight color in the inner corner just creating that outer that inner V <laughs> okay time for lashes this is a big part of the look I'm starting with the Ardell Demi Wispies full strip so I'm going to lay this one down first the key is to get it right at the base of your natural lash and then to really get that rosy vibe, we're gonna pile on a few pairs of lashes. So you could take a full strip again and cut it in half and use the outer corner 
or you could do what I'm going to do here and I'm going to use the Ardell Trio, the Flare Trios, the Knotted Flare Trios and use a couple of these just in the outer corner. So the reason I'm doing this is because in the picture of Rosie, you'll notice that her eye is so accentuated and it's really kind of turned up just in the outer corner. So applying extra lashes in the outer corner will do that. And you guys will see the difference once we're done. Then I'm taking individual lashes also from Ardell just in the outer corner, <laughs> really extending the length of my eye here to get that super curved up shape that Rosie has. So that's a little trick for you guys. If you want to kind of create a different eye shape, this is one way to do it. You could really see the difference. Now I'm going in with the Maybelline Dream Velvet Foundation. I don't know why guys, but when I applied this, I did not love this on me. I've used this foundation many times before and was okay, but for some reason this time, I don't know if my skin was dehydrated or what, but I did not like how it sat on me at all. It looked better after a while, but when I initially first put it on, I did not like it. But um, I left it and now I'm doing concealer with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Concealer, which is one of my favorite concealers. I love the tone of this. The only problem is, is that I go through it so quickly and then I just blended it out with my finger and my beauty blender. I have some super exciting news. I've been telling you guys about Boss Babes for so long now and it's finally out. So make sure you go check it out here, please. And let me know what you think and show it some love and support. It would mean the world to me. I went in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Pencil and I used this to fill in my eyebrows. This is a pencil I've been using a lot lately. I love the tone of it. It works great. Um, I like that it has a spoolie on the end as well. And then I made sure to really extend my the ends of my brows because Rosie has amazing eyebrows. <laughs> when I was looking at the picture, I was like, wow, her brows are like definite goals. So I tried to get as close as possible. I have not been loving my brows lately. I'm going to do a brow tutorial just to show you guys how I'm grooming them, grooming them because I want to tweak them a little bit. So I'm going to do it in a video. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm using the Wet n Wild Ticket to Brazil bronzer and doing a really, really heavy contour because Rosie's face has an amazing natural contour to it. Her cheekbones are ridiculous, so I kind of went in a little bit. And then I'm using this beautiful blush combo from Neutrogena. I'm using number 20 and number 50, which I think number 50 might be discontinued. I'll look at it, I'll look for you guys, but all the products either way will be listed below for you. There'll be a link and you can go to my shop where it shows you every product that I use. So I use kind of the number 50 first as my base color and then I went in with number 20 which is the pinkier one over that just to give a lot of dimension to my cheeks. This is one trick that I love to do. And then for highlighter, I'm using the Wet n Wild, I believe this is called the Mega Glow and just highlighting all the main parts of my face uh, down the bridge of my nose corner on my eyes <laughs> Cupid's bow and um, yeah Rosie had like a really subtle highlight it definitely wasn't about the highlight her skin actually looked pretty matte and but I just wanted to add a little bit of highlight just to give a bit of dimension to the skin for the lips I am using this palette from L'Oreal this was like my second time ever using it but I love this lip color. It was exactly the color I wanted. It was a very natural pink, not too far from my natural lip color and no lip liner, nothing. I wanted the lip to look really natural, but super pouty. So I actually used the lip brush that the palette came with and kind of used that to over apply the lipstick and then just smack my lips together. And that is it guys. That is the final look for this all drugstore, Rosie Huntington inspired natural glam makeup. Love how you could change the shape of your eye with eyeshadows and lashes. I hope you guys get a chance to try this out. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, hit that like button and let me know what you wanna see next. Love you guys.